All right, welcome back, everybody. This is going to be some Billy Gibbons and ZZ Top with Jesus Just Left Chicago by ZZ Top. And this happens to fall right after Waiting on the Bus. I did a lesson on that a little ways back. I'll put a link here. And everyone immediately after that is like, well, what about Jesus Just Left Chicago? Because that song starts right after it. So I've been remiss, um, but I'm getting to it today. So we're going to talk about all the greatness that's happening on here. Um, there's actually two ways to play this song um, that I'm going to walk through both. One involves retuning one string, and the other I'll show you with regular standard tuning. If this is the kind of thing that you like and you haven't done so already, I invite you to jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell, because the bell lets you know when I drop new content, which I do every single week. All my lessons have chapters in it, so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass what you don't. And if you're looking for ways to support the channel, I appreciate that. There's thanks, which is a little button below, like throwing a tip in the tip jar. Or you can join my Patreon page where I have chord charts and tabs posted for all the lessons that I do on YouTube, like this one. Um, all the links are in the description. Check it out. All right, so this is a great piece of blues rock from the early 70s. And um, I actually have my, uh, what is this? A 70th anniversary broadcaster. Um, which is basically a Telecaster. Right? Um, but they, they, when I bought this, um, they send you the little wiring where you can actually change the wiring harness on the inside with the right capacitor and everything to uh, make it set up like the original broadcaster. Um, this is just set up like a Tele, but like, uh, you, you know, you, you've got a treble control on here where, or the bridge pickup setting on the broadcaster where you don't have any sort of tone on it to, to tame it. And why am I talking about that? Because I believe Billy used his broadcaster, his original broadcaster, on this, and you could totally tell it's the most like bright, um, almost brittle sounding, um, but super tough uh, bridge pickup sound on that. So I'm going to go with my Telecaster on here. I've got um, I'm using my trusty uh, blues driver. I'll leave all the settings um, in the description below for getting my tone, and I'm running through my 4x10 um, black faced uh, Fender Super Reverb. So um, I have no idea what amp he used on the record, but I'm going to go with that. So first of all, let's talk about um, the tuning. Um, so on the record, there's there are several guitars on the record Okay, uh, that, that you're hearing. There's um, two different um, sort of rhythm guitar, you know, this. You hear two different on one side or the other. There's two of them that are doing that, that are super clean sounding. Um, the lead guitar is different from that. So, like, there's, there's, there's a lot going on with it. Um, and uh, one of the things that you're going to find out if you're listening really close to the lead guitar, and I'm going to base pretty much everything that I'm doing off of what the lead guitar is doing, because that's really the most interesting. Um, and what you'll find is um, he has tuned down his A string to a G. And the reason that you can tell that that's happening is there's several times when he's playing stuff where you hear that G note ringing out while he's moving up the neck and playing, um, playing different things. And uh, if you were only in standard tuning and you're playing that G note down here, here here's one example. Right, that, that G note is running while he comes up here to the top. Right. So, um, but there's, there's a couple places where that reveals itself. Right. So number one, um, let's do this. I'm going to do it with the, with the alternate tuning, um, show you everything. And I'm going to show you everything again, you know, talk through it with standard tuning if you don't want to do that. But so all you do is you take your, your fifth string and you tune it down to a G, right? So you don't do anything else. Like I, you know, I thought it was an open G tuning all the way where you tune that one down to D and that one down to D, but you actually don't. Um, and I'll talk about why in, in just a few minutes. Um, so yeah, just tune that down. Let's have some fun. Just tune that one, tune that one down to a G. All right. So um, the song is in G. There's basically four chords. There's G, C, A. Actually, that's it. There's only three chords. <laughs> so 
That becomes a G. You have your pedal tone off your G, and you're adding these, just like Keith Richards. Then you have a C. And you can choose or not to play that fifth string. You can just do so I think that's actually prominently what you hear on the record. You hear those three strings, four, three, and two. And you've got other guitars. But you can mix it. Because you've tuned it, you're going to actually finger it this way, pressing down on the second fret. And then up to a C on the fifth fret. And then back down. Okay, so that's all the chugging for the rhythm stuff that's going on, all this. Um, and really, that's it. Like, that is the rhythm guitar for the whole song. It just repeats... Um, that several times so that's it <laughs> really is so where you really hear this lead guitar coming in is during this uh you know turnaround part of the song right um and it's this part where you're walking down <laughs> And it all becomes immensely easier when you're doing this uh, tuned in this way. Um, I'll show you also later how to do it with standard tuning. Um, almost the same, but it's way easier with that string tuned down, right? Um, you know, so it goes into the second verse. You might not see them poison. And all that kind of stuff that happens. All right, so then it runs through that verse, and we're going to go into our guitar solo. So it's one more turnaround. <laughs> Here's where, again, that, that string is ringing open as he comes up and does that first, you know, that great announcement into the solo. So let's look closely at that solo and we'll break it down sort of part by part. So the first phrase, it launches in with a, this guy, right? So that's just those two notes rubbing together. And then the first little phrase is, so it's all straight across on that it's sort of a g minor pentatonic box but it's all straight across on that third fret you know if you tune that string down and then up here again and that that's another clue that string is ringing there and we're going to do a pick slide That's all pretty sort of basic. That's a great little part right there. So you're you're sort of bending up on your your uh, second string. You're bending up a full step, but you're doing so in a way that sort of grabs that third string at the same time. So when you have that bent all the way up. You've sort of got your middle finger riding along the way on that G, on that third string. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend up and you're going to sort of take off the, once you get up, you're going to take off your ring finger and then you're transferring your, your picking onto the third string and your middle finger is pressed down on the third string and going to bring it down. So you're coming up on this string and you're coming down on this string. Right? 
It's easier for some than others. It takes me a while. I don't get it every time. It's... Anyway, but that's what's happening on there. Okay, well, let me get back to the part. That's a great one. So that one, he just really burns through. It's, he starts by picking on this note, and then it's just flickering, hammering on from the third to the sixth on the, on the B string. So it's pick. On there, and then you're back to your third string. So all together. And at speed. <laughs> it's super fast. And then you end it with. Coming up again. Now we're at the part where it's going to go from A to C. And what you're, you're just writing that, but you're here on this note. And you're going to go up and down. So from there. So let's do all that in context. So that's that's that first solo section. Just beautiful little phrases in there. So then he goes back and does a nor normal sort of uh, verse around again. And there's some fills that happen during the verses, right? It's sort of like, you know, you might not see him in person. <laughs> through it. One phrase that stands out is just straight across on the third fret, but anything in that box. Just greatness in there. Then on the outro, so that's just it. It just runs through another verse. Um, turn around. goes through that uh, a solo section on the outro the fade out and that uh, he just repeats that little speed run that he does on the first solo um, he just sort of does them back to back he might throw in another extra flicker here and there but it's so you know it's something like <laughs> comes up here then when it goes to the C so that's just all that normal G minor pentatonic moving from this position to that position And then when he comes back down, this is great little uh, syncopated riff that he <laughs> that he does on here. It's not really in time exactly um, with whatever time uh, you know tempo is going on, but he does this. I'll do it real slow. It's just on the third fret, pulling on the third string, pulled off, 
or not pulled off, it's picked. And then he's grabbing the fifth fret on the fifth string, um, you know, the tuned down string. He does that four times. And then he does, which was similar to what happened up here. Right? So. <laughs> he does that. And again, this is just on the very, very outro on the fade out that you're hearing. And he somehow gets down to down on there, but just a great little thing to throw in. And I know most of us are playing this while you're in standard tuning, you know, if you're playing this live, and it's great. And actually, Billy plays it in standard tuning live because he's coming right off of Waiting for the Bus, which is in standard tuning. So he, you know, he's playing it and has pretty much always played it um, standard tune, probably live, and that's fine. So, um, so he doesn't have that A string tuned down. Um, and so when he's playing all the things around G, the low G, his low G note is... You know, fret it on the third fret of the sixth string, right? So that little turnaround is now. Right? You have to grab it. You're all the way down here on the B flat on the first fret. Right? So that's the fingering that I. I use for that. I guess you could, maybe you could thumb, thumb over, but anyway. Um, so that's that part, you know, uh, those other parts where the G net low G is ringing out now while this is happening, that now sort of can't happen, right? Right, because you're there. So you don't, you, so, you don't see that when he does it live. Um, and uh but it still sounds epic however you're doing it right like it was just that one string that was retuned everything else from the lead is exactly the same um on the rest of the string now instead of the third fret you have to there rest of it is the same um, so yeah I mean that's really the only thing you have to account for is that if you're playing that in standard tuning you can still do all those other speed riffs and everything as is and it'll sound epic right um, <laughs> change a little bit because your C note is down there but even if you fingered it the same and you're hitting a different note that still works it still all sounds great right? and of course the rhythm on if you're in standard tuning Now you can lay your finger down on the third fret there um, and add this on. Your C, you have to do a little bit of a contortion, so you're up here with your pinky if you want to do that. that down way and so then you grab it down here 
So now you're grabbing it down here. And he sort of mixes, sometimes it's... And a lot of times it's a hammer-on. But it's, it's best if you just sort of mix it up. Well, that is Jesus Just Left Chicago by ZZ Top. And I hope you learned something new today. Love Billy Gibbons. Love him. Anyway, if this is the kind of thing you like and you haven't done so already, please um, jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell lets you know when I drop new content, which I do every single week. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And if there's another lesson you want me to take on, let me know that too. And until next week, take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.